Hey everybody! How is everybody? It has been it has been a long time since we have gone live. We have been battling colds and flus, and we seem to be upright and out of bed, and we're sick and tired of being sick and tired. And Bill is plugging in my microphone, so that's why that's why our camera went a little wonky. Anyway, welcome to Raincross Farms Makery. I'm Robin, and wiggling the camera just a moment ago was my husband, Bill. And anyway, we have both been sick, but we are, we are upright and out of bed and fully dressed, and so we wanted to come on live because we miss you guys, and we don't want you to forget about us. So <coughs> I will try not to have a coughing attack. But if I do, we'll get over it. Anyway, pop on, say hello. And hey, Cheryl, welcome. Long time no see, mainly because of us. Between crews and being sick, we haven't seen a lot of you guys. Hi, Leanna. Uh, we are glad to be back. Hoping we were, hoping we were all the way 100%, but we're getting there. Anyway, if you're watching us, please hop on, say hello. If you're live, there'll be a red box up here that says live. If it's not there, you're watching the replay. Either way, comment, hashtag replay, comment along to the video, ask questions, whatever. We will respond to you because we'll monitor the comments afterwards. But it's been a while. I may have forgotten how to, how to do all this, but... Uh, here we are. So if you are watching, of course, if you're watching, otherwise I wouldn't be talking to you. We would so appreciate it if you haven't already, if you would like or love our, our Facebook page, follow us and sprinkle it out to your crafty friends, to your page, any craft groups you belong to. We would certainly appreciate that. It kind of gets Facebook the Facebook wheels moving and helps us out. We also have our stars activated. We appreciate any kind of support that you give us. So thanks so much. So thank you for sprinkling, Cheryl. Okay, let's let's get started. A um, couple of things that are new. We have, I don't even remember when I last went. I think I last went on when I was sharing the brand new catalog. So we have a brand new catalog of holiday transfers. So you want to go check that out if you haven't already. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, 31 brand new Christmas and or winter holiday transfers and 21 re-released popular transfers from the past. So check that out if you can. Hey, Ken, welcome. So if, you, if you're if you interested in that, comment holiday and you, my bot will send you a link to the holiday catalog and you can see what's out there. Um, I haven't checked. Um, I know some of the more popular items may be getting close to selling out and I really doubt that they will reorder them in time for Christmas. So if you see something you like, snatch it up right away uh, to make sure you get it for Christmas. Okay, several weeks ago, we worked on these adorable pumpkin cutouts. So it's a set of three wooden cutouts, and there's a little, little baby pumpkin, and a medium-sized pumpkin, and then the big tall pumpkin or gourd. And all we did is we chalked them up in orange, and then we... Um, used the jack-o'-lantern faces, the pumpkin faces on them, and we covered them in um, glow-in-the-dark ink. So if I charge these up under lights and turn out the lights, the, the faces will glow. So that's what we did. However, the backs, they're double-sided. The backs are empty. So we are going to, we're going to, we're going to put something autumn-y on those because this is kind of, after October 31st, you might not want to be using that. Wouldn't it be fun, fun and easy to just turn it around and now you have autumn decor for the rest of the season. <coughs> Excuse me, I might need more water. Okay, let me show you last year's pumpkin designs. 
So, same set of wooden cutouts. Here was the here was the Halloween designs. So they have this cute little spider web for the baby pumpkin and they had this boo for the medium pumpkin and then they had this cute harlequin pattern for the tall skinny gourd so that was was kind of the halloween side they also had a set on the same transfer for autumn so here is Kind of a sweater pattern I don't know if that's argyle a, a, like a knit sweater pattern for the small guy and the medium guy they had this um, all over words and and autumn phrases and pictures for the medium guy and then for the tall guy they had this really pretty uh, diamond pattern so this set of patterns is still available if you are interested in last year's patterns. I'm gonna show you what they came out with this year. So I'm gonna have a whole pumpkin patch ready to go at my house with all these pumpkins, double-sided. <clears throat> okay, hi, Zena. Hello. First time, you know, I remember your name. I think maybe this isn't your first time, but anyway, welcome or welcome back. Thanks for joining us, Zena. <clears throat> okay, so let's get... <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Maybe I should have stayed in bed one more day. Okay, so this is this year's transfer. This is called, it's called Henna Pumpkins. It's kind of a, like a henna henna art design. Some people might call it a mandala or some people call it a boho. But that is this year's design for the pumpkins. So we are going to do the back side of this in some autumn colors. So these aren't, um, these aren't specifically autumn because there's no words and there's no other than them being pumpkins. So you could use this, this design in different colors and you could use it for Christmas pumpkins, I don't know. You could use it on other surfaces, not just, I'm gonna, not just the pumpkins. Cute pattern designs though. So I'm just gonna cut these apart so it's easier to use. This is our C size transfers. You guys get sick from that ship we were on. I don't know, maybe, we came home, <clears throat> the kids kind of had sniffles and colds while we were, developed them while we were on the ship. They and did tell us that they were over it though when they got they, home. Yeah, theirs only lasted a day or two, but then they're young. And so when once we got home, we kind of hit everything big time. I can assure you after I think I took four tests, all negative. So it is not, it is not that big, that big word. Okay, it's just a cold and flu. I love the video that uh, Tiffany sent. <coughs> I didn't get it. Thanks, I didn't get it yet. Thank you, Tina. Welcome. Glad you're here, Pamela. Snowman. Oh yes, they could be henna snowman leave off the little uh leave off the little stems and they could be that's a great idea i might be using that idea wouldn't that be cute a cute little snowman and this i could just use his little belly here oh that is that oh my goodness you got a great idea i just need somebody to cut out some shapes for me you know anybody that can do that i think i do okay so we're going to use those transfers these are the colors we're going to use. We're going to use kind of some autumny colors, and I'm not I'm not going to use this one. The the small one has two different designs. That's the one I'm not going to use. So let's see. <coughs> this guy. I am going to. We're going to do two colors. We're going to paint the background, and I'm going to paint it. Trust me now. This wisteria. 
light purple. I know you're thinking Easter egg. Now, it's going to look good. 51. Ken, are you competing with Tina? Of course he is. <laughs> Not to be outdone. Thank you for your stars too, Ken. Oh, you got the crud we have. Well, I can honestly say we did not give it to you. Okay. Oh, yes. It's not just my new toy. It's Bill's new toy, too. Good for you, Pamela. <coughs> I like outside-the-box thinkers. Okay. Anyway. These two, these two activated a stars party for the next four minutes. Uh-oh. Get to getting. <laughs> Even While you're can. doing that, I'm going to, what I haven't, I haven't uh, turned on my video here so I can see it up close. And you know what I didn't do? Did you um, load the pinned comment? Did I what? Did you load the pinned comment? No. Okay, I will. You want me to? You probably, I never opened it because you didn't have me do it. You're doing it on your phone. Uh-huh. Well, no, I'm doing it on my computer. Well, I can load it. That's all right. I just did it. I just did it. I just have to pin it. There we go. Okay. There we good. Okay. And so she started thinking out. Yes. The box yes, she has a great idea for for snowmen. I'm going to take you up on that. Okay, so this guy again. We're going to use a light purple. And then we're going to cover it because most of it is most of it is going to be covered in this is our very Perry shimmer paste. I am looking for a way, Tina, to wear this to the wedding. It might be my eyeshadow. I don't know, but it is periwinkle. It's kind of a purpley blue. <coughs> That's going to be this pumpkin. And then our big tall guy. Is going to be the base is going to be rust and then the top is going to be shimmer harvest trust me it's gonna look good if it doesn't we'll scrape it off and we'll do it all over again and then the little guy I'm not so sure of this but I'm gonna do the background I don't have a contrasting green all of my greens are kind of the same in the same shade so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this um, sunny side yellow down and then most of it's going to get covered by our shimmer olive so that's what we're going to try so let's get these let's get to painting these that one's going to go there that get one's going to go there that one's going to go there get busy so they're not get oh busy. my Watch them paint. <coughs> ken thank you so much <laughs> that's a little more than that's a little more than 51 I really apologize for coughing. <clears throat> I w I maybe maybe I can get someone to run upstairs and get me a cough drop. Okay. Duke, you want to go get Mama cough drop? Okay, so I'm just gonna paint this with our chalk paste, but it's pretty thick, so I'm gonna thin it down just a bit. So I'm spraying it with distilled water to just thin it down to paint consistency, and I'm just putting it in the lid. <clears throat> Get me a fisherman's friend. That'll that'll do me. Okay, and then I'm going to paint this up. I love this rust color. This is one of our newer colors. This is one of our newer uh -oh. colors. Uh-oh. He just left. <laughs> he, he left his ears. He just left. He left his ears. I have to go turn down his volume. Just making it worse. I'm so sorry. Bill, get down here. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry. 
Wow, thanks, 10. 10, Ken. Okay, I couldn't turn it off, and I was getting feedback, and... Feedback? Yes. You get feedback with that timing. Sorry. <clears throat> Let me turn that off here. Okay, he's back. What that was is Bill has Bluetooth hearing aids. Thank you. Bill has Bluetooth hearing aids, and when he steps away from the computer... The Bluetooth disconnects, and then the the sound no longer goes into his ears, but goes straight out the phone. the speakers and the phone. Was that the phone? That's my phone. Oh, well, I was trying to turn off the computer volume. Yes. Thank you. Ricola. Okay. This is an unsponsored. Uh... We'll see. We'll we'll test cough drops. And Ken has been busy. Saw someone water the paste. Yes, I did. I did water it down just a little bit. Depends on the paste. <clears throat> Sometimes the paste gets a little watery in the jar anyway, and I don't have to, and I, I don't have to water it down as much. But this, I did a little bit. Okay. <coughs> because, and I'm going to trick the Ricola, because I used distilled water, I can take any of this extra and stick it right back in the jar and nothing funky is going to grow in that jar because I haven't introduced anything because I used distilled water. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry <clears throat> and then we're going to paint. Trust me, trust me on this purple pumpkin. It'll look good. Okay. Oh, that's going to make my nose run. <laughs> do you need Kleenex or do you still have a box over there? No, I have some. Okay. Okay. My poor sick wife. Hey, my poor poor husband. This morning, Five I, I, I thought I was, I thought I did okay all night. Wasn't mm -hmm. coughing a lot. <clears throat> Boy, at five o'clock, I wasn't even awake. And I got this urge to cough, and I thought I was choking to death. I thought I was gagging. I had to get it out. It sounded like it. <clears throat> I had to get out of the room because, I, I, I mean, I knew I had woken him up already. I knew it was too late. That boat had sailed. But uh, I had to run out into the living room and try to catch my breath and cough up whatever I was trying to cough up. And <clears throat> Oh, that's the funny part about this. It never does. No, it just, it just was like just annoying. And by that time I was wide awake and I think, I think Bill managed to get back to sleep somewhat after that rude awakening, thinking his wife was, I'm sure he, he did poke his head out and <laughs> say, are you okay? <laughs> Probably wondering if he should call 911 or whether I had settled down. Now this is a little streaky. So if I was, ordinarily if I was just painting this and I was trying to get good coverage, I would go over it with a second coat. But because I'm gonna go over it with the, the, the transfer, the stencil, and it's gonna put down some more color, I don't think we're gonna notice that streaky. I might give it just a second coat, though. So I keep I keep jabbing it and putting a funky line in it. No, I think that's good. So thank you so much for all those stars there that I just missed. <clears throat> Is um. Uh, Facebook still doing funky stuff? Do we still need to um, refresh to get no, comments? No, I seem to be getting <coughs> seem to be getting everything in time now, at least. Well, we haven't had any. Oh, there's a new one. Oh, you must have told him. Yeah, I've, I've been sending him text messages, pictures. Yep, we're gonna we're gonna be playing with that now. My yellow, I can tell you right now, my yellow is pretty thin, so I'm not even going to. 
I'm not going to water it down at all. I'm just going to use it straight out of the jar because it's thin enough. So if this was, if this, if I went to use this paste and I felt like it was too thin to use as paste, what I would do is I would just leave the lid off of it for about 15 minutes, half an hour to kind of let any extra moisture in there evaporate and then, you know, stir it every couple of minutes and that would thicken it back up again. Now I know these don't look like Halloween, not Halloween, they don't look like autumn colors, but we're kind of thinking outside the box. We're doing a little bit different. And we're adding some different colors. And I actually did use my color palette thingy <clears throat> to try to come up with some of these designs, some of these color choices. So I'm just going to give this a dry. No sound. Uh oh, Tina has no sound. Oh, okay. You got her. You got her covered. I have it on my phone. Hopefully, is anybody else having sound issues? I hope not. Okay, so I'm going to, I hate the taste of Fisherman's Friend. It works. It does, it, it does not go with peach fresca. <coughs> Yes, you may, Tina, but you do have to come back. <laughs> okay, I do think... I just kind of smudged that purple, so I do think I am going to give it a second coat. Just real quick. Just because that's going with that periwinkle, and I want that periwinkle to look awesome. So I'm going to put a second coat of, this is, what did I say, wisteria. We do not have, I don't, I don't know why, we do not have a dark purple paste other than um, this very peri shimmer. Ken says you need a blue pumpkin for autism. Oh, I do. I, maybe I will. I've got more pumpkins. We have more pumpkins and we know where to get them. Mm -hmm. I have I have that moonlight blue moonlight blue shimmer. Hi that Shirley. Would look, that would look awesome. Hey Shirley. Her hers just popped in here. Mm. She says she can hear good. Good. I don't know. Maybe that's the the hesitation. I just got her popped in. It's like we're still coming in. That's that's been the the Facebook problem though. It hasn't been us. Yeah. Okay, so I gave that purple one a second coat, <clears throat> and I'm going to give it a dry. <clears throat> then we are going to use our transfers. These transfers are sticky, so they're self-adhesive. They're meant to be reusable. But when I go to put, if I put down this sticky, sticky transfer on this freshly painted surface, the chances are of me peeling that up are pretty good because that sticks pretty hard. So I'm going to do two things to prevent that from happening. I'm going to put a tiny, tiny, tiny little coat of wax 
on my painted surfaces and then I'm going to put some fuzz on the sticky part of my transfer. <coughs> Okay, I want to make sure these are good and dry. Now these do not look like your typical autumn colors. We'll see. We'll see if I end up liking them. <clears throat> okay, let's start. Let's start with our big guy. So did you... Um take these colors off that color palette chart? Sort of. I found one that had some purple. It didn't, it wasn't the exact shade of purple. So I kind of fudged it a little bit. But it did have, it did have the green and it did have the gold and it did have the rust. And it looked really pretty. Okay, so I am taking surface wax. It's just clear wax. I sell this in my shop. You can also get it at, at Home Depot, but the Home Depot kind stinks horribly. This does not stink. They don't make that wax anymore. They don't make what anymore? Johnson. They don't? Nope. Different name. Well, they, they have Minwax. Do they have Minwax? Probably. Okay, so I am putting on just a thin coat. I don't want too much wax or my paste won't stick. And I'm gonna start doing something a little bit different when I do waxing, because I noticed I have started, I've been having trouble with my paste after I put wax on, because it's like I can't get enough of it back off. <clears throat> so, this is what I'm gonna do. I have a layer on. I can still kind of feel it. It's kind of, I, it kind of grabs when I rub it. So I'm gonna to go to a clean part. This is just a, microfiber cloth you get a, a whole package of them for a dollar at harbor freight when they're on sale and i'm going to buff as much of this wax off as i can and i'm going to do an extra step to get even more wax off Too much wax will interfere with the paste adhering to the surface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take <coughs> my quick dry tool. This doesn't get super hot, but I'm going to run it over here and it's going to just lightly melt that wax. And I'm going to buff it again after I have come. Hey Rhonda, welcome. And I'm going to <coughs> lightly buff that wax again after I kind of soften it up again. So again, this doesn't get really hot. It just kind of gets warm. So I'm going over that wax and I'm going to buff it one more time. Okay, so it feels smooth, but not sticky. Same thing with this one. Ideally, you'd wax it and you would let it sit for 15 to 30 minutes to let it soak in the paint. We don't have that much time. So how is everybody doing? Okay, so California is hot, smoky, and mudslides. At the Mountain Man. Oh, oh, that was at the Mountain Man. Yeah. Well, that's not good. But it's still Southern California, so it's hot, smoky, and mudslides. Yeah. We are cooling off here. I, I don't believe we are done with super hot temperatures. Yeah, we are. But for the hot. most part, I think we are. Yeah. <coughs> We're probably not going to be over 85 over the next week, two weeks. So tell me what your weather's like. We are starting to see the leaves change. Watching from Spokane. Awesome. We, uh, we, 
we go to Spokane as often as possible because that is our closest Hobby Lobby. We are in Lewiston, Idaho, just outside of Lewiston, Idaho. So we are two hours away from each other, two and a half hours. So you should be having good weather too, Rhonda, I would imagine. Okay, so I've got these waxed. <clears throat> Pardon me. Instead of sniffling, I'm going to blow my nose. I know that's oh gross. I know that's gross. So oh turn, turn, Muted. avert your Muted. eyes, avert your eyes. Nobody here online ever blows their nose. <clears throat> okay. Hi. <laughs> See what I have to put up with the mic? Off my lipstick. So. Okay, so here is the tall, skinny one. Remember, sticky transfer. Ken wants his coins, his stars back. <laughs> I'll, I'll see if I can issue you a refund. Okay, so sticky. And I'm going to put it down. You can't see it, so I'm going to move it over here. I just have a towel. This is our, our fancy chalk couture towel, but you can just use, you can just use any clean, fuzzy towel. And you want to get a little bit of lint. on that transfer where it's sticky so to just ease up on the stickiness just a bit hot and muggy an hour from chicago oh that does not sound like fun <laughs> no you're gonna have dreams of of that okay now i'm gonna these are meant for these 40 years, shapes Ken, 40 years of that I knew the honeymoon was over. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna. Hi, Angelica. I'm gonna hold this up. That's not completely lined up. Hey, Angelica, welcome. Welcome. She is. Angelica has come back as a designer on our team. So yay! yay. Welcome back. She told me she is going to be doing, I've got a lump right there. She is going to be doing, um, what did you say? Like a, a craft club for an after school program, something like oh, that. that. Sounds cool. And this, this would be perfect. I, I don't know. I'm asking her. I'm asking, well, you're looking at me. <coughs> Mr. Bill wants to know what age group. Lewiston is normally, yes it is, it's normally about five degrees warmer, and in fact, our house is right on the river, so we end up being about two to three degrees warmer than Lewiston all the time. <laughs> Yay! We are excited to have you back. Okay, this is Shimmer Harvest. I love this. It's kind of an autumny gold, and I'm going to scoop this up, and I'm going to drag it over my silk screen and it's going to put that pattern down on top of that rust colored paste and it's not going to be super high contrast between the orange and the and the gold but it, you should be able to see a difference Now our shimmers, this is a shimmer, it has little, um, not microscopic, but very, very ultra fine mica, mica flex in it, which gives it its sparkle. So it actually kind of needs a little extra coaxing to get through the screen. So I'm going over it a couple of times. I wouldn't ordinarily do this with just my regular paste colors. But I want to make sure it gets good coverage. And I'm going to scrape off any excess. She said she's doing third and fourth grade and oh, one first awesome. grader. Awesome. Those are your favorites, huh? Mm hmm So some of this will be awesome for them. Get those, those uh, minis and... Okay. Ready for the big peel and reveal? 
Always. Oop, I missed a little spot. If I go slow, I can go back and fix any little, any spots that I missed or that didn't lay down. Ooh, can you see that? Put this down. Do I say it now? Do I say it now? You can. That's so cute. Okay, look at that. Can you see it? It does. It looks nice. Isn't that pretty? That pretty gold on that orange. Woohoo! It's you don't really notice it until you're up close to it, but once you're up close, oh boy. Okay, I'm going to give it a quick dry so I don't smudge it. Ooh, I got lots of oohs from Tina. I'm hoping your volume came back, Tina. Look at those hearts. Thank you so much, everybody. We have eight eyeballs watching us. Actually, 16. Actually, well. Unless they have glasses and then they have four eyes. Okay, so that's on its way to dry. Let me show it to you one more time. Is that not pretty? Pretty, pretty. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. Hi, Rosie Bister. Hey, Rosie. I, I need to talk to you. Bill said you said something about... I saw a post. Online. That you said something about a change in plans on um, pillowcases. So I want to be prepared. So I need to find out what that. Bill stole your line. You can both share the line. Thank you, Rhonda. If you want, you know, I, I'm supposed to be looking at the camera, but I can't see the comments on the phone. So I'm looking down here. So I'm sorry if I feel like I'm ignoring you. Okay. Sticky transfer again. I'm going to put a little fuzz on it. Now this doesn't have, this has a lot of screen and not a lot of sticky. So where you see the green parts, that's where it's sticky underneath. Where it's not is, is just screen and that's not sticky. So there isn't a ton of stickiness holding this down. So I didn't fuzz it too, too much. So this is going to have a lot of this very peri because there's so much screen. So I'm gonna make sure whatever is sticky is sticking down here. And oh, I wish, I wish you could see that. I don't know if I can get it. But there are like blue sparkles in this purpley blue paste. I love it. It's gorgeous. I am going to give it just a little stir. It just it just shimmers when I stir it. Maybe maybe I'll just paint my body in this and that's what I'll wear to the wedding. It just froze and I'm not sure what you said about the pillowcases. Um <coughs> Excuse me. Bill had said he'd seen something about where you had said there's a change in plans and that you're not doing pillowcases. You're doing something different. And I wanted to find out what that is so I can get to getting on that. So if that is a change, let I, I need to know. I'm probably still going to make pillowcases, but... Maybe not for your project if if there is a change. Yes. Will you join me, Tina? You want me to get you a jar? <laughs> we are talking about Tina, <laughs> Tina's daughter, and my son are getting married in February. And their color, the color of their wedding is periwinkle. So I was so excited when they came out with this new color. Unfortunately, you cannot buy this color yet. Hopefully they'll come out with it. It was a <coughs> special offer last month. But I got my jar. We've been having a few freeze-ups here freeze -ups. in the last few minutes. So Rosie said. 
Yeah. Okay, here you go. Look at this. Look at this periwinkle purple blue pumpkin. Hi, Isn't that pretty? See, you were worried that I painted it this really light purple, but I knew I was going over it with the dark purple and there was going to be a lot of it. So I know the camera kind of is pulling that off as blue, but it really is a purpley blue. Okay. <clears throat> Done with that. I'm going to give this a dry. It is pretty. <clears throat> And it sparkles. Can't go wrong with sparkles. Um, yeah, about the freezing, that's got to be connection here somehow because it's happening to everybody. I'm sorry. We have one more pumpkin left. Stick with us. Emma Aldridge said she's a color, she's a purple girl. Awesome. Okay, now this one we are going to do, and it's it's again, it, there's not very much, there's a lot of screen, so most of it is going to be this green, but it will have that yellow background. <clears throat> Looks like we completely lost the screen going. There we go. Are we back? It looks like we're back. I hope we're back. Okay. So sorry. So, I'm sorry, I don't know what it is. He says our Starlink is good. Anyway, we've got this down on that yellow, that, that uh, sunny side yellow, and I'm gonna go over it with Shimmer Olive. Yes, they are kind of, they call them henna, henna pattern, henna pumpkin patterns. <clears throat> but to me, it looks a little boho, it looks a little um, mandala. Almost Indian. India? Almost, uh, well, that would be... Indian would be the henna. Yeah. But it's whatever you want to call it. Okay, so Shimmer Olive. Again, pushing it through. This is a little on the thicker side, so I'm having to push it. Push it good. I hear the dog outside barking. Who knows what he's found to bark at. So if you like these patterns and this set of pumpkins and you want to make, you can just comment the word fall, the two words, fall pumpkins. Link to the supplies. You can kind of take a look at their pricing. And I will tell you that the henna pumpkin pattern just came back in stock. So I know there were a lot of people waiting for it. So if it sells out again, they most likely will not bring it back this season. So if, if you really like it and you've been waiting for it, you might want to snag it up. Pumpkin or pumpkins? Pumpkin. Um, I think it's pumpkins, but I think it will probably answer to either. If it doesn't, I will catch it up and get you the link myself after the live. Okay, so pushing that through, scrape off the excess, close the lid, and we're going to peel this, and oh, this is not the most favorite. I'm not super thrilled with that color, with that color scheme, but it's okay. It still looks good. It's got that shimmer. Here it is. I think it'll look good in this set. But it's mostly green and it kind of makes that yellow look a little a little gold. So that is our set. Let me give this a quick dry. Let me move these out of the way. So I think this is going to look pretty all together. Looks like a, a Christmas ornament. Yes. I could, do I could use those for Christmas ornaments too. Maybe a little smaller, not quite so pumpkin-y. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Our shimmers take a little bit longer to dry, so I just want to make sure I'm not going to smudge it. And I'm going to let them sit for a second while I clean the transfer. Let me show you how we do it. I'm going to, I've got, I've got two of them over here on, I just put them down on a dish drying mat. That I, I get these from the Dollar Tree. The best way to clean them is to go to your kitchen sink. And I like to put them like on a cutting board or something and scrub them off. You just use water. But because I'm far away from my kitchen sink, I'm just going to show you how I can do it on the fly here. So dish drying mat, regular water. That is distilled water, but it doesn't have to be. I like to start with a um, Swedish dishcloth or a paper towel and just take off that top layer of paste. This won't get it completely clean but it takes off a good amount of that paste, which gets me started. So my goal is to get all of the paste out of that screen area. So next I switch over to my board eraser, which is like a magic eraser, but there's no chemicals in it. You don't wanna use chemicals on these. What are you guys coming across? Rhonda says, oh, crafters, I watch yes, with lots of love. yes, uh, we have a we have a delegation in Malawi right now for Watts of Love. That's the uh, charity that Chalk Couture has partnered with to bring um, uh, solar lights to um, third world countries that do not have electricity or cannot afford electricity. And so this allows them to not have to purchase uh, kerosene for uh, gas lamps. Kerosene can be very dangerous and starts fires easily and it's expensive. And these families do not have a lot of disposable income. So if they want to have lights after the sun goes down to do any type of work, um, it, it costs them either in finding firewood or which is limited out in the desert um, or purchasing kerosene. So this is, it's donating these solar lights so that they are, they have light that, that is powered by the sun, doesn't cost them anything. So we have a delegation of about, oh, 20, 20, 20 people or so that are there right now. <clears throat> okay, so I, I've got this cleaned off. I have all of the paste out of that screen. I'm going to let it dry, sticky side up. Then I'm going to put it back on its backer sheet and put it back in its little plastic sleeve till the next time I'm ready to use it. They're reusable 10 to 12 times, guaranteed but I know you can use them more than that if you take good care of them. Okay, so here is our set. Here is our, our big guy, our little guy, Ooh. and our medium guy. Let me get my cough drops out of here. Okay, what do you think? And up until the end of next month, you can turn them on this side and look, they're little pumpkins and they're actually glow in the dark pumpkins. And then <coughs> as soon as Halloween's over, you can turn them around and you've got your autumn decor going. You could tie some little raffia bows on the top. But anyway, this is the set. What do you think? Give me some hearts if you love it. I hope you do. If you are, again, if you're interested in purchasing any of these supplies, uh, you don't want to miss out on the transfer. Um, look at all those hearts. Look at them. Look at them go. Hearts and thumbs up. Thank you so much. Anyway, type fall pumpkins and you'll get the link. You can, under no obligation, but you can, you can take a look at pricing and... 
look around the look around the rest of the shop and see what else there is. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I will get back to you. Thanks, Liana. I love how they turned out too. Can't wait. I'm going to have <clears throat> in the local area. I'm going to have a uh, workshop, and this is what I'm going to offer. I'm going to offer them to do a set of pumpkin cutouts. So I've got I've got a bunch of different options for them so i'm going to get to photographing tomorrow so <coughs> maybe we can get past okay. the coffin and hacking before maybe you do that. maybe so let's hope so anyway tomorrow morning we are going on early at 9 30 pacific time we are um, hosting a segment on craft around the clock you can find us here at our regular page but we are hosting a session a section a segment for craft around the clock at 9 30 tomorrow so we hope you'll join us and hope you'll follow our page and see when else we go live we've got lots of other fun fall and coming up christmas crafts my new set of transfers from the newest release should be here well fedex says tomorrow so i'm betting on thursday or friday um, anyway so we'll get to we'll get to playing with those too soon so Again, thanks for joining us. I'm going to pose here with my pumpkins for a second so I have a good thumbnail to, to post. And we will see you later. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for the stars, everybody. And have a good night. Bye-bye.